Hello, this is Brian from the homephysicaltherapist.com and we're going to be looking at walkers today. I just want to go over a quick overview of the front wheel walker. Both of these are considered front wheel walkers. You can see, as I bring one closer, or bring them both closer, you can see one has larger wheels than the other. The other has smaller wheels, but they're both considered front wheel walkers. The larger wheels are better, they give you a smoother ride, and they're better outside. They're easy to adjust. Both of them have clicks here, buttons that you can click to collapse them. This one, to collapse it, you have levers that you just simply press down. When you're going to use your front wheel walker, and it's, it's collapsed like this, you want to make sure that you open it completely. So each time, each leg that you swing out should click, you should feel a click, and it should stay in place. Likewise, with this one. It should not be, you should not be able to collapse it when you're using it. They're easily adjustable to a person's height. Generally, they have, again, buttons here that allow you to lower or raise each leg or each wheel to adjust for comfort and the height of the person using it. Uh, they're better used indoors than outdoors. If you're going to be going outdoors, you can use a front wheel walker. However, the concrete and asphalt surfaces of sidewalks generally is not good for the rear, wheel, rear legs of the walker. The larger wheels, as I said, will give you a smoother ride, outdoors especially, but also indoors. And there are several accessories that you could buy for a front wheel walker if you choose to use one. For more information, you can go to thehomephysicaltherapist.com.